Independence Boulevard is one of the most congested roads in the Charlotte area. Tens of thousands of you use it every day between Matthews and Uptown. And a lot of that time you're likely to be stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. But changes are coming and this evening. You can get a closer look at those proposed changes. Mary Calkins is live along Independence Boulevard this morning with what she has learned about these plans. Mary. Yes, Alex Mary, like you said, here along Independence Boulevard between Matthews and Uptown. And I want you to take a look at this traffic right now. Uh, certainly not what we're going to be seeing in the next few hours as that morning commute uh, starts to pick up because you know this area starts to get choked up with traffic during the morning commute. Now, NCDOT is targeting the stretch from I-485 in Matthews and 277 in Uptown. Starting at the exit in Matthews, the plan is to widen the highway to six general purpose lanes, allowing for more cars. Currently, most of the highway is just four lanes. Now, the plan also includes improving interchanges and overpass bridges. So, for example, the stoplight at Matthews Mint Hill Road in front of Butler High School, that would become an interchange with on and off ramps. That would also be the same for Sardis Road North in Crown Point and Village Lake Drive. Now, a lot of drivers do try to avoid independence and take the back roads instead, and there is a plan for that, too. DOT would extend the roads parallel to US 74, like Independence Point Parkway past Sam Newell Road. It also extends Creffield Drive, which will include an overpass. Officials say extending those roads is essential for separating regional traffic from people driving through town. Now, there is also a plan in place for tolls. I'm going to be telling you more about that coming up in 30 minutes. But also, if you have more questions about tonight's plans or you just want to hear more, you can head in. You can head over to the drop in meeting. It's happening from 4 to 7 o'clock tonight in the cafeteria at East Mac High School. Reporting live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side.